Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to quickly compare the different heat sealable fabrics that I'm currently using here at DIY Packraft. Starting with the lightest fabrics, here we have the ultralight 40 denier ripstop. It weighs about 100 grams per square meter or 3 ounces per square yard and it kind of feels like tent fabric or something like that. You can see that it's got little ripstop squares and it's coated on one side with heat sealable TPU, which makes it completely airtight and waterproof. It's fairly tough. I can't really rip it when pulling on a straight edge, but if I start a cut, it's quite easy to keep pulling it apart. If I try to poke a screwdriver through it, it takes quite a bit of force actually. This isn't a sharp screwdriver, but it's still pretty impressive for fabric this light. I'm actually pulling quite hard and what's happening is it's slipping, which is good. Obviously that's what you want to happen but it's making it harder for me to show you just how strong it is. Next we have the standard weight 210D fabrics. They weigh about two and a half times as much as the 40D ripstop, but they're much tougher. Just showing you that I can't rip it on an edge no matter how hard I try. If I get a cut started, I have to try pretty hard to get it to rip, but it will rip. Then I did a previous demonstration of just how strong this is by hanging off a one inch strip of it, my whole body weight. I'm trying to push the screwdriver through it. It's a pretty dirty old screwdriver, but it it doesn't want to go. Even the 210D is quite tough unless you're using something really sharp. Um, I'm basically pushing as hard as I can actually and Uh, I can't get that to go through. It's not a sharp screwdriver, but it's pretty pointy. Um, yeah, the TPU layer just—it's quite—it's um, it, quite abrasion resistant. You know, I am scratching it, but it's not breaking. The uh, got a fresh piece here. The uncoated side isn't as abrasion resistant, but you know, still I'm uh, even, I'm really gouging this with the screwdriver and it's, it's not totally failing. I can pull it apart now, but there we go. Next we have the 420D floor fabric. This is coated with TPU on both sides. Um, and it is fairly thick and extremely tough. Um, even with a uh, cut started in the edge, it's really hard to... Like I'm trying pretty hard to rip that. And without a cut, there's, there's just no way that I could rip that. And lastly, we have the 1000D fabric, which if you compare it to the, um, the 420D, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but um, you can see that the weave looks a bit uh, coarser, because it's... Cause it's um, I think they're both an Oxford weave, but they're, these are much thicker threads. And 
The TPU is also on both sides of the fabric and it's an extra thick coating of TPU. I don't know if you can see how thick it is there, but hopefully that's in focus. Um, obviously I can't tear it on an edge. It's very strong. Uh, let's see if I can do it if I start a cut first. I really have to work it right at the edge and it's quite quite difficult to tear but uh, I can do it but it's it's really tough like you can't really puncture it you can jab it with the point of the scissors and can get them to go through if I really push but you're not gonna run into something that sharp out in the <laughs> when you're paddling oh, even even that's hard to do so that's with the 1000 DD let's try the 420 420 is clearly really tough as well. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting the scissors to go through it. Partly it's because the, the surface is a lot smoother on the 420D, so the scissors are just wanting to slide. There we go. So, you know, you can puncture it, but it's pretty tough and that smooth surface it just kind of wants to especially when it's wet it's just gonna slide past stuff same with the 1000D it just you know unless you really get it with something sharp uh, but with the rounded point there it's you know it, it barely makes a mark you can kind of see it's Kind of a mark there, but it's not scratched into the surface where I was just jabbing it like that. Oops, I even cut myself trying to trying to damage these fabrics. So um, the 210D. Let's see. With the scissors, you know, if you cut with it enough, it'll <laughs> it'll rip it. I'm also going to post a video of me demonstrating how I heat seal all these fabrics, so check that one out as well, because I'll also show you how strong the welds are. If you want to find out more about these fabrics, you can check them out at DIYpackraft.com. And you can also order a fabric sample pack there if you want to test them for yourself. Thanks for watching.